Over the past three weeks, we've been talking to financial services company Direct Access about credit scores, why they're significant, some of the myths surrounding them, and why you should regularly check yours. And this afternoon, in our final talk with Macheko Chaka, we thought it would be good to touch on some of the most important points we've covered. Hello, how are you? I'm good, Bonnie. How are you? Good. Lovely to have you back talking to us about something so important. Good to be back. Yeah. So speaking of which, why is it important for us to have a credit rating? You know, credit ratings um, are very important because just like, for example, when we hear a lot in the news about how South Africans, South Africa as a country is being rated by different um, organizations about how they can get debt and credit, <clears throat> we, we always hear them say that we need to improve the economy. We are similar on an individual level. Uh, an, an organization collects our information, and on the back of that, they determine how creditworthy we are. Mm -hmm. And this is driven by things like how you pay, how much, how much debt you take on, and how you do that consistently over time. And the better that, that rating is, or that score from the bureau point of view, the better, the better terms you can get, the more credit you can have access to. So at a time when you need it, you have a better outcome. Wow. So who, who decides what my rating is and how do they do it? How do they collect all that information? So we've got a number of bureaus in South Africa. Um, you've got TransUnion and there are quite a few others and Experian. And what they do is they interact with vendors. So at any point in time when you've taken out credit, those vendors submit you information. So for example, let's say you have an account and you open that account. They will record the day you, you open that account. They will record how many payments you've made and the size of, that, um, of debt that you took out. And all that information is collected from all the different uh, vendors you have, you have transactions with. And on the back of that, they, they utilize calculations to give you a specific rating or credit score, which determines whether or not you've been paying well, how long you've had the credit for, wow. and how much credit you've had over time versus how much you can afford. And on the back of that score, other companies, when they want to loan you, loan you money, they look at that to say, OK, we can trust this individual. We've seen that they performed well over time. And on the basis of that, we'll give them this amount of money. Wow. Or even because if you have a very good score, we can then maybe even give you a better credit interest rate. So how far back does my credit rating get checked? From like the first day I ever opened an account? Yes. So how it generally works is that when you're 18 years old, that's when legally now they, can, they collect information of you and you can get credit. Prior to that, you was defined as a thin file. So there's not really much information ah. on you. But from your very first transaction with a vendor, where you have a credit relationship, they have the information. Wow. So is having a low credit rating equivalent to being on the credit bureau? So I think it, it surmises both, because when you have a low credit rating, it means that the Bureau has information and the outputs of that, based on your behavior, shows that at this, at this point in time, your credit rating isn't that strong. Wow. Yeah. So how do I register for Direct Access Pulse, and who should register? I think um, when I say this, uh, always like, uh, maybe because I'm a salesman, but I always just want to say everyone, yeah. because I think everyone who, who has an interest in in building um, a good relationship uh, around their credit and who has things they want to achieve through credit should get it. Because what's nice about it is it's free. So you go into www.directaccess, Direct Access Pulse, you register, and then once a month it gets updated and you can track it and see your rating. So it allows you to then be able to have easy access to the information without impacting your score. Yeah. I've also often heard people say it's not good to have credit and it's not good to have debt. So how do you then accumulate a good credit score when debt is not good? Well, I think, you know, I have a different view. Yeah. I say sometimes you can have an anxious and difficult relationship with debt and it hasn't been managed and it causes you anxiety and problems in your life. But most times, for the for majority of us, debt and credit is a positive thing. It allows you to buy your house. It allows you to have a car to take mm -hmm. your kids to school. Sometimes it allows you to even finance schooling for your children or for yourself to improve your life. It allows you to make investments right now that would, if you had to save for, would take a longer time. So we first have to know that debt can be healthy and we can have a healthy relationship yeah. with it. And then once you overcome that, there are things that you can do to make that relationship better. One of them is knowing your credit rating. Because at every point in time, you know how you're behaving, you know how others see you, you know where the problem gaps could be, and then you can take mm. actions to resolve it. Okay, yeah. okay. That's changed my whole view on credit. <laughs> I hope so. I think uh, what I want people to have is uh, have in their minds when they think about credit is to know it can be positive and to be empowered because they can use uh, tools like Pulse. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so go find out more by visiting Direct Access Pulse today and see where you stand and how you can improve your credit rating. Registering for Pulse is free and easy. Visit directaccess.co.za forward slash pulse today.